ಶಂಕರ ನಾದ ಶರೀರ ಪರ ವೇದ ವಿಹಾರ ಜೀವೇಶ್ವರ Shri Sai Ram, my humble pranams at the lotus feet of our most beloved Bhagwan. It is said, prayer is when you talk to God and meditation is when you listen to God. So I would like to narrate one such uh, experience which I've had in my 12th class and it clearly emphasizes the importance of prayer. So I studied in Sri Shailam, Swami's school in Kerala and uh, this school was inaugurated by Bhagwan in 1970s and it was in my 12th, the 12th standard students like every year uh, we get an opportunity to come to Kottaparthi during Onam celebration. So this was uh, in my 12th standard so we had an opportunity to make a beautiful card for Swami. and our teachers told that you could you could sit in front uh, in prashant dilim and offer this card to bhagwan so we made this card and uh, we came over to prashant dilim and it was the onam day so all of us were waiting for bhagwan's darshan we were seated in front of the krishna statue in sai prabhant hall and uh, so bhagwan came out in his beautiful way uh, started collecting letters from devotees and uh, swami was coming towards us so we were seated in front of the krishna statue and we were uh, elated to see bhagwan coming closer and closer to us we all thought that swami would come and bless uh, the card but uh, what happened was swami just uh, neglected us he totally neglected and went ahead finished uh, darshan went into inside interview room bhajans got over we thought swami would come even before bhajans and uh, bless us but uh, nothing happened that morning the onam day morning so we were all uh, dejected so after bhajans we were all dejected and but our teacher uh, one of our teacher came forward and told us so you don't have to be, uh, worry prayer i think we need to pray to bhagwan that is what is lacking so let's pray fervently and sincerely i think surely swami would come and uh, bless us in the evening so what he told was uh, we would go to uh, swami's birthplace that is uh, shivalayam so all of us uh, the 12th standard students and the teachers went to shivalayam and what what our teacher told was we we'll go around uh, uh, shivalayam uh, swami's birthplace one or two times so we did whatever our teacher told so we went around uh, swami's uh, birthplace around one, one or eight times prayed fervently and uh, teacher told okay go back have lunch and we will see what happens in the evening so we had uh, our lunch took some rest and we went back to cycle one hall and we sat for darshan and uh, swami as usual in his beautiful way he came out uh, for darshan started collecting letters and lo and behold as and when he saw from far he came near us and told i heard your prayers and very happy and swami blessed our card and uh, that was that was uh, that was one incident which uh, took place in my 12th standard and was uh, really it clearly shows that how prayer is uh, very important and swami hears uh, to our prayers if we pray sincerely and fervently swami will surely hear our prayers so after my 12th standard i was uh, desperately wanting to join bhagwan's institute so i had applied after my 12th and but uh, i did not get through so what happened like uh, i came as a sevadal and uh, i sat with the application form swami actually took my application and just walked away and when i applied that year i didn't get through so that one year was uh, a good time wherein i picked up lot of uh, singing and uh, practiced harmonium 
and I came, I got an opportunity to come as a Sevadal twice that, uh, that particular year after my 12th standard. So, 98 January when, uh, when I came as a Sevadal, I got this application form again and sat uh, for Darshan. During those uh, times, uh, immediately after uh, Seva, Swami would give uh, Padmanamaskar to all the Sevadals. So, when I sat with the application form, Swami blessed uh, the application and told Tapakonda come, come this year. So I immediately applied that year and uh, I joined the Sri Satya Sai Institute of Higher Learning as a student and so after I joined, my brother was already here, he had joined in 95. So I was uh, keen in joining the Bhajan group because uh, Bhajan was one of the favorite and uh, I wanted to sing in a uh, friend of Bhagwan and wanted to get a chance to sing in front of uh, Bhagwan every day uh, for the bhajan session. So basically I wanted to get uh, in the Prashanti bhajan group. So the teacher in charge, the music teacher in charge at that particular time, uh, said, yes, sir, he heard uh, me and told everything is fine. Whenever you get chance to ask Swami, please do ask and uh, accordingly we will do it. But uh, never got a chance to ask Swami. but. During that year, 98 uh, winter vacation, I happened to stay back during the vacation and uh, Swami called us for a Purna Chandra session. So during those years, like Swami would call uh, any Sundays. So Swami would just call us, uh, the students and the staff staying in the hostels. He would call us to Purna Chandra session. We would have some session with Bhagwan. So one of the uh, one of the Sundays, so Swami uh, called and told the warden to call students and staff staying in the hostel. So then Salisa told, why don't you prepare a song and if you get a chance, you can, you can present it to, in front of Swami and if Swami permits, uh, you can ask Swami for singing bhajans and that, that would be a good chance for you to enter the bhajan group. So prepared a good song. Uh, and a few of other uh, seniors of mine uh, also prepared few songs because they were also wanting to sing in front of Bhagwan. So we sat in, inside the Pundichandra auditorium and waited for Swami. Swami came and uh, asked Warden what is the program. So Warden told uh, the students have prepared few songs. So Swami told, okay, start, let them start. And Swami told, uh, instructed us to start the songs. And he went around uh, distributing prasadam. And so mine was the first uh, song. So I prepared uh, this particular uh, famous song called Shankara Nada Sharira. The song goes like this. Shankara Nada Sharira Para Jeeveshwara Shankara Nada Sharira Para Veda Vihara Hara Jeeveshwara Shankara So I started with the Dala Shankara So as in when I started the dala. Swami stopped uh, giving prasadam. Actually, actually, Swami was giving ladoos and uh, prasadam to our students. So, Swami stopped giving prasadam and Swami came and sat on his chair. Actually, we were sit uh, sitting next to Swami's chair. So, Swami sat through the whole song. I sang the whole entire Shankara Nanda Sharira song. And immediately after the song, Swami got up and just went around uh, giving prasadam. So that was one instance uh, wherein I was uh, really thrilled and uh, very happy because uh, Swami came all the way and sat through the whole song. He heard the whole song and then uh, went back and uh, started giving prasadam. So after uh, the session, Swami came and uh, then Selesar uh, pushed us forward and told uh, to ask Swami to and try to get permission to sing in front of Swami. So I asked Swami, can I sing in front of Bhagwan in Bhajan Hall? Swami told Tapakonda, heroes they start changing. Today itself you start. So that, that's how I got uh, inducted into 
the Prashanti Bhajan group. And that evening itself, uh, sir told me to sing and I sang the first Bhajan, Ganesha Bhajan. So that's how uh, I got uh, a chance to sing in front of Bhagwan and even now it continues.